the fuck going on with y'all man welcome back to another episode of one piece so <clears throat> last episode a few things um we took the dub and we headed back to water seven so we are in fact not going immediately into enemy territory again through the gates of justice instead we turned around and that is totally fine <laughs> i was i was kind of terrified if we ended up moving forward and then getting locked up or some shit because that would kind of ruin the show no i'm sure they'll find a way to make a fire but still i was like there's no way after defeating cp9 after surviving enos lobby after defending against a buster call we're going to fuck with navy hq and or this underground prison there's there ain't no way and of course there ain't no way we went back to water seven and we're getting treated you know we saved their lives um a few things frankie apparently used that 200 mil that he stole from us to buy a special type of wood this type of wood is as just as special as or rare as the type of wood used to make the king of pirate ship goldie rogers okay and now he's got it and he said for the free he'll make a ship for us kind of like the oro jackson and that's just amazing it's not gonna be pluton like i envisioned but that's fine maybe it's a good idea we don't make a world ending battleship you know even though i trust the straw hats Luffy might hit that red button on accident, low-key. <laughs> um, but Frankie said he's had blueprints of a ship he's been wanting to build this whole time, and this ship will have the capability of sailing the world. And that's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to do, you know? So shout out to Frankie and the Frankie fam and Galela, all the shipwrights that are going to help build it. I can't wait to see what that ship looks like and what it can do. And again, I know we burned the Mary down, all of the Mary. If it's possible, he's got to put some kind of memorabilia or like a, or like, um, you know, some, some kind of drawing. I don't know what those, those are called mural of the Mary some way to have the mary live on through that ship you know i feel like that's fair and i really hope they do that if they don't it's all good i just i'm kind of expecting it though because they've gone they've gone above and beyond so far with everything you know so I, I hope some part of that ship will be you know will be mary so it can live on as luffy becomes the king of pirates <laughs> i don't know so we got that going on. And then of course the episode ended off with apparently Vice Admiral Garp, this dude who looks pretty fucking strong is Luffy's grandfather. Yeah. So what? <laughs> That's random. Um, and of course he's rolling with Colby and uh, the, other, the other blonde kid. Let's see how they're looking nowadays. You know, I'm sure they've grown just as much as Luffy and the rest of them. But yeah, L Garp is Luffy's grandfather. And maybe they'll go into it more, more in depth this episode so we can understand what the fuck, you know? Um, <clears throat> but then again, <clears throat> seeing how Luffy is so capable, it wouldn't surprise me if he comes from good genes. You know, Vice Admiral Garp. He looks pretty fucking strong, but he's also kind of similar to Luffy. When we first met him, he was doing a donut eating contest or some shit, right? So, I don't know. Hey, bud. What's up? Uh, so yeah, that's where we're on the story. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. This is One Piece, episode 314. If you guys are not a member of the channel, members get early access to the One Piece reactions, and I'm something like at least a hundred episodes ahead. So if you want to get access to those, go ahead and click that join button down below to become a member, okay? And of course, if you want to watch the full version of these reactions, also early access, you can hit on my Patreon, which is linked down below in the description. Other than that, 
Let's get into it. OP314 Lego. Wait, what? I'm sorry, what was that? This guy fought against the former king of pirates? He's that strong? Why isn't he an admiral? He's just a vice admiral? Maybe he does that on purpose. Oh, shit. Well, damn, that's one way to raise a child. Then again, Luffy had the rubber fruit, so I guess he was okay. Redhead? Oh, Shanks. For some reason, through all this bullshit, I forgot Luffy has a strong ass brother. Fire Fist Ace. I forgot. That dude's ha that dude's might be one of the strongest people we've seen so far. Whoa. Wait, what? Four emperors? Okay, so there's seven warlords and four emperors. It's hard. It's kind of hard to keep up. Damn, Shanks is that strong? What does he do? He doesn't have an arm. How is he strong? He's got to have some kind of devil fruit, yo. Right? He's got to. Rolling around here in one arm, being one of the four emperors. What the fuck? He had a drink. Didn't he? Didn't we see him have a drink with Mihawk? I guess I should have known. He's. He's the man. <laughs> Oh. Oh. No. Colby? Colby no shave? That's actually sick. That is a government move. Okay. Colby no shave and the other dude has some cool ass weapons. We love that. I like how they're show actually showing the animation of the old episodes. We've we've gone a long we've gone a long way, and I imagine it's only going to get better. That's pretty good. They're being trained by Luffy's grandfather, the Vice Admiral, who apparently also trained Luffy. That's why Luffy's so goddamn strong. Maybe a part of it. This has got to be after Shanks left, right? When Luffy was a kid, after Luffy obtained Devil Fruit. Yeah, it must have been. He must have gotten raised after that. That's what I'm thinking in my head. <laughs> <laughs> this was the first douchebag we met in the show, right? Um, you know, after all this time, uh, listen, I'm glad he's going through some character development. I'm glad he's using some cool new weapons. But can he just cut his hair? I feel like a buzz cut will fit him. Damn. 
ちゃんとやるんだよ俺に父ちゃんなんかいんのかなんじゃい名乗りで痩せんかったのかローグタウンで見送ったと言うとったぞルフィ、ダディ I guess we never really talked about it. I just assume he's, you know, one of those. He either he 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 gone, he left, he died, but he could he could be one of those anime daddies that leave their children to go pursue their own dreams. That's that's an anime daddy. That's Goku. That's Ging for Hunter. He could be one of those, I guess. So, um, this is one of those, like, recap episodes that are, like, half filler. This episode was not labeled filler. I assume because of Garp and the whole backstory there. The majority of, the, of this episode has been flashbacks, <laughs> which is fine. I get it. We need those sometimes. Some people ain't watching it day after day at, like me. Some people actually watch this shit week after week. I don't know how y'all be doing that. But I'm watching. <sighs> Wait, that's him? He... Okay, that actually makes sense. Because... It, this dragon guy... If he's Luffy's daddy... Luffy was getting owned by Smoker. Then he came to the rescue. And when I was watching that episode... A random storm... And rain and fucking hails of rain showered upon Logetown instantly on some random shit. So, I'm and what I said that episode that reaction was this guy is the one doing elemental dragon devil fruit stuff. So, is that that's Luffy's daddy? He, bro, he does come from good genes. What the hell? I honestly would have preferred if Luffy wasn't re related to anyone strong. That'd be a better, like, you know, humble beginning type shit. But now it's like he was meant to be. <laughs> like every other anime protagonist. So he's infamous. The world's worst criminal? That's a bunch of titles, man. Uh, Luffy isn't like... Luffy's very lighthearted. An idiot savant. So he is definitely nothing, nothing like his father. Unless uh, we're, we're judging his father too fast. We never really met the guy. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. Luffy comes from good genes. That explains as to why he's so goddamn strong sometimes. And as to why he can never give up. As to why he was able to, you know, defeat Arlong, CP9, Crocodile. He's got some good genes in him. Okay, okay. So that's why this, this episode was not labeled a filler. Even though most of it was flashbacks, most of it was reminding us what had happened was, you know, it wasn't labeled a filler because now we have learned Luffy's father is a motherfucking badass. <laughs> I, dare I say one of the strongest people in the show? He definitely was the one that conjured that fucking storm on Logtown to save Luffy, right? He's gotta be that one. It's gotta be. See now, now what I'm wondering is, all right, who's the mama? Is was 
I don't think the mom was there at um, Luffy's original town, Luffy's hometown, was she? I think he said auntie, but not like mom. <laughs> what if, is Luffy's mom a fucking warlord? Like at this point, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they be doing shit like that in anime, bro. Like, like the new, the newest Bleach, apparently, I, I actually shouldn't spoil that, but the newest Bleach is doing the same kind of shit, okay? Um, at least though, at least for One Piece, it's still early, right? For Bleach, it was like 400 episodes in, but, um, damn, okay. Kind of big news. Luffy's dad is a bona fide badass, infamous criminal. Apparently, apparently he might be like a, like, like a, like a evil guy. That's what they're kind of pinning him out to be. Um, Garp. Luffy is very similar to Garp. Makes sense as to why he raised him. You know? He seems very similar. They're both like lighthearted. They both love food. Um, they both randomly sleep. Actually, that's more like Zoro's thing, but still. Yeah, they're very, they're pretty similar. I can see the similarities between Luffy and Garp. But Luffy and his father? That's like nothing apart. The apple flew far, far from the tree. Some shit. Um, this guy's being a rascal. You guys probably heard him all through the fucking reaction. I'm sorry about that. Um, but he's got to stay in here so he doesn't wake up, wake up my wife. So. It's all good, right? Anyway. Nice to meet you. Uh, Monkey Dragon, that's his name. Holy shit. That's crazy. So what? <laughs> what made him name his son Luffy? Because that's like super soft, lighthearted, you know, laugh, laughy type shit name. But his name is Dragon. <laughs> what the fuck? Maybe he renamed himself. People would be doing that a lot. Um... One of the funniest renames of all time is definitely Ron Artest naming himself into Mecha World Peace and then changing it back, I think. Anyway, good episode. Most of it was filler, I get it. But now we know Luffy, Luffy's daddy and Luffy's grandfather are both fucking strong. And Colby, Colby can use Shave and the Helmeppel guy has some cool ass weapons. So that's cool. Anyway, that's gonna be it for the reaction. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this guy who's been very loud during this reaction. That's okay. Uh, if you guys are not a member of the channel, members get early access to the One Piece reactions. And I'm like 100 episodes ahead right now. So if you wanna become a member, you wanna click that join button down below. And of course, if you wanna watch the full version of these reactions instead, head over to my Patreon, link down below in the description. All right, also early access there too. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for the algorithms and or join the Discord if you haven't already. With that being said, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one. And I will see y'all on the next episode of One Piece. Goodbye, y'all.